coming up from episode 2, uh, here is the build of the single action caster lift. <laughs> Sa totoo lang, hindi ko alam ang tatawag dito. Pero, what it essentially does is, there's a single lever na pagka tinapakan mo, magagamit mo yung gulong ng mesa. And, pag niretract mo siya, yun namang stand ng mesa yung gagana. So, I could easily get four caster wheels na may locking, pero ang trabaho nung iisa-isahin mo pa yung pag-lock, diba? So, on this one, isang action na lang, and then gulong na. Isang action na lang, and then yung pana. And this build also has the locking mechanism. So, this is how we build it. I started off with uh, two pieces of 30mm bearing. So, kinuha ko yung sukat nun sa tubular. Uh, what I used was 3 fourth by 1 and 1 half inches. 1.8 millimeter na tubular. And then, ang aim ko dito is ipasok yung bearing sa gitna mismo ng tubular. So, once nabutol ko na yun, nilinis ko ng konti. And it's time to put in the holes kung saan ko itatagos yung bolt para humawak dun sa bearing. This, by the way, is a uh, step drill bit. Dati wala akong kabilib-bilib dito, pero when I bought it, naging paborito ko na siyang pambutas ng bakal. So, testing it from time to time hanggang perfect na yung mismong laki ng butas para sa bolt. Then, it's time to assemble it. So, there are two parts dito sa may mechanism na to. Yung isa is yung part na merong bearing. And then, yung isa, yun naman yung magiging, or yung part na may tapakan. So, dito sa video na to, yan na yung part na may tapakan. It's just, uh, same tubular na ginamit ko. Nakapatong lang yung tubular or yung mismong tapakan sa may frame. To give you a better idea, here's how it looks when it's done. So, yung left side, yun yung merong bearing. And the right side, yun yung may step lever. So, ganyan na itsura niya pag natapos. Yan na yung kakabit natin mismo sa table. And for me to weld the mechanism sa table, ang ginamit kong hinges are cylindrical hinges. So, once all the hinges are welded, ganito maiging itsura niya. And it's now time to put on the bearing. So, bolt muna, tas yung bakal, and then a washer, and then yung bearing. And then, ganun din siya sa other side. Yan, nakakatuwa lang pagka yung na-imagine mo na mechanism is nabuo mo siya and it really works. And ito yung first time na sinubukan ko siya na gumagana talaga siya. So that's how it works. Tatapakan mo yung lever para ibaba niya yung apat na gulong like on this one. And then pag nausog mo na yung mesa mo, release it and tatapak naman yung apat na pa. So, I needed a locking mechanism para dun sa lever and I think this is the best process or design that I could think of. So, I first started off with a uh, tubular, 1 inch by 2 inch to, kung natatandaan ko tama. So, bumutas muna ako sa magkabila ng butas para sa bolt. And then, after that, bumutas naman ako sa harap niya. This is to hold the spring. Kasi kailangan spring-loaded yung mismong locking mechanism. Kung hindi, lagi ko pa siyang aabutin sa baba para bumalik. And to hold the locking mechanism, I just needed a flat bar na may arc. Para siyang magiging swivel niya, kumbaga. So, nag-cut muna ako ng dalawang flat bar na mayroong arco.
after cutting it, nilinis ko sa bench grinder para mas malinis yung pagkakabilog niya. And binutasan ko ulit ng drill. Tsaka yung step drill bit. Para naman dito sa, or para naman yan sa may bolt na hawak sa locking mechanism. So it's time to weld it on the frame. Spot weld muna and then full weld para tumibay kasi ito mismo yung hahawak sa main mechanism eh. so once it's welded here's how it's gonna look so yung locking mechanism nakakabit na ron sa may arc sa may arco and then ganyan siya so kanina sinabi ko kailan spring loaded siya di ba kasi nga pag hindi babalik-balik siya or may possibility na matanggal yung pagkakalak So, ito yung hahawak or dito sa video na to, yan yung part na hahawak nung spring, nung locking mechanism. So, ganyan siya. Bumabalik siya pag nilalock mo. And bumabalik din siya pag nire-release. And the last part of this build is the legs or yung adjustable legs ng mismong table. So, sinarado ko muna lahat ng ilalim ng end cap na plate. And then after that, kinuha ko yung gitna ng square using an X mark. And then center punch, drill, and then step drill bit hanggang sa makuha ko yung butas na kailangan ko para lumusot yung levelers. So, rinse and repeat dun sa remaining three. Drill, and then step drill bit, and then winweld ko na lahat. So, nung winweld ko na lahat ng levelers, I, I left the leveler na nakascrew sa may nut para ma-insure ko na straight siya pagka nakafix na siya. And this is how it looks. Again, The feature of this is it's a one action caster lift and this kind of workbench na may feature ka na to uh, would be perfect para dun sa mga workshop or wood shop na hindi masyadong malaki just like mine. So for the uh, last installment of this series, it's uh, for actually it's a three part video or a three in one video. It's the star knob the paper roll and plastic film dispenser and the clamp rack and you know it shows everything that I um, made on this table or additional features that I made on this table and this is the final entry for this series and I hope you keep on watching the videos that I put up and to all the subscribers who subscribe thank you so much